Right, thieving Ian will now attempt to break into the back doors of your vans. The longer it takes him, the more points you get. Three, two, one, go. He'll knock it over. Thieving Ian is Top Gear's tame car thief, and by the looks of it, not a very good one. You know what, no, what he's done is he's pushed the lock into the thing. That's quite funny. It's he's small. really quite stumped I'm by yours. Beautiful, you see. It's small. And... Why don't you just pick the van up and put it in your pocket? By now, the police would be here, he'd be in prison and then let out again. He's defeated. He's defeated oh, van. at one minute. <sighs> Three, two, one, go. Is that technically not... Cheating. I keep saying, they can say, car thieves are very clever these days, but this one isn't, is it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's in. I've got 34 seconds. 34 seconds for the transit to withstand <coughs> the world's most useless burglar. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Now, there's a lot of 34 seconds. Doing this is quite important. How easy it is to get in. <laughs> ten seconds. He just that walked up and it ten opened. Ten seconds, sir. This is it. It's the final challenge. It's a game of cops and robbers round the Top Gear short circuit. You start, then 20 seconds later, a police car will give chase. The person who stays in front the longest wins. Who's driving a police car? It says here it's Detective Inspector Stig. Stig would be driving a standard 1.6-litre Vauxhall Astra Panda car. A Bugatti Veyron compared to our vans. Jeremy went first. It's exciting. There goes Fingers Clarkson with his <laughs> haul. <laughs> OK, now, in the uh, 1970s, 80% of all bank jobs featured a Ford Transit van as a getaway vehicle. 20 seconds later, Stig of the Yard set off. Through the follow through. Oh, yes. Oh, my door's gone. My door's gone. <laughs> he looks such a pillar. Shedding weight, however, was good. Detective Inspector Stig, far behind. The finish line was in sight. My bear, here I come. Oh, no! No! Oh, he's dead. No, no, no! I didn't make it. That was excellent. That was worthy of the bill. Next up, James Cray. He's caught him. <laughs> what a majestic sight. Police Stig. <laughs> Has James ever gone round the hammerhead? No. King, breaking hard. No, oh, he's got me. It's all over. I'll come cleanly. It's a fair call. You did better than I thought. This might you might do quite well here. Yeah. Short wheelbase. Just like a little rocket. So, first corner. Now, it's mid-engine. I reckon I'm going to give it a bit of the old Scandinavian flick. <laughs> He's rolled it. He's rolled it over, look. He's out! That means I'm second. He's lost. So, um, I guess he could be dead. Well, there's a police car at the scene of the accident, so... But if he is dead and you fancy a job on Top Gear, why not write to us that I'm better than Richard Hammond was? I may have, have overcooked that a bit. BBC Wood Lane, London, W1270S. It is time to add up the scores and see who's won. Yep. Now, we've already filled in the scores for the drag race, the loading and the thief test. The tailgating, though, is where it gets tricky. You get a point for every centimetre under... Every centimetre under 10 centimetres. Right, so I was minus a half. 
Yep. Uh, Richard, you were nine, and yep. James, you were minus four million. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on a minute. I lose four million points for not tailgating. That's exactly right. And you don't get anything for the door challenge because you are still naming all your spanners. Uh, who won that one? That was me. I won the door no, challenge. No, hang on. You put that on with gaffer tape. You can't so, have that. The whole British army is held together with gaffer tape. <laughs> it's not Tell me, it didn't open. And if something doesn't open, it's not a door. He's right. It did open. It didn't. It did when it fell off. <laughs> you can't claim that. All right. Who here thinks Jeremy won with the door? Who thinks no. Jeremy won that? No. Hands up. No. Who thinks I won fitting my door on with bolts? Everybody. So here you go. One for me. You lost. You did. You lost. Fair enough. I'm not sure. Plenty more ground. Yeah, we're three. So you three, get three. three. And you get no. Oh, well, you're gloating naught, man. And I get two. Yep. Uh, now, the police chase, that would be a big three for me. James, you did well. Two. You. And you won. One? <laughs> Your van rolled over! <laughs> I could have been killed! So, you'd have still lost. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And now we've got to add these up. So, it's five, six, five and a half, seven and a half, ten and a half, OK? Richard, three, four... Oh, swoo, wait a minute. Four, Stretching seven... Stretching this, isn't it? Twenty, OK? And James, your two, three, four, five, six, seven, three million, uh, sorry, minus three million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-three. Yeah. Is what you scored. <laughs> Didn't go well for you, did it? You're not going well. However, there was one more challenge because the producers told us to put a man with a van type ad in a newspaper each, and then we would each get one point for every response we got from our ad. Yes, we did. So, James, what was your advert? <laughs> My ad was <clears throat> man with van, LDV convoy with fully functioning automatic door system, driven by steady, sensitive, classically trained pianist. Nice. Very good. <laughs> good. Remember, it's one point for each reply. Oh, yeah. Chance for you to claw back some points here, James. How many replies? None. Right. <laughs> no, so you're pretty much out. OK, yeah. Richard, your ad was... Uh, well, my ad ran like this. <clears throat> uh, driver with van, surprisingly spacious, would suit anyone who lives at very narrow street. <laughs> Speedy delivery guaranteed thanks to F1-style mid-engine layout, which it's got, which it has. No denying that. How many replies? One. One. So you actually now get 21. I think this man with a van malarkey is not as well paid as we might have imagined. It's not brilliant, is it? Not really. So... Come on. Yeah. Let's Mine, oh, yeah, very quickly, very simple. Man with van, classic Ford Transit. Well ventilated. It had no door on it! <laughs> well ventilated. Uh, willing driver, slightly bad back. <laughs> right, OK, so let me just work this out a minute. So if you... Hammond's in the lead, but if you get more than ten and a half replies, yep. you'll have won. Yeah. Eleven and a half replies, yep. I think. Yeah, eleven and a half replies. And you got... None! Yes, <laughs> I win! <laughs>